In this series of videos, I want to talk about some of my favorite recommended, maybe best practice settings for the Apple TV. This is the Apple TV 4K, latest model from late 2022. And the first setting has to do with the keyboard and navigating the keyboard for search. So I'm here in the iTunes Movies app, and this is the same for any app that you might want to execute a search in. By default, the keyboard state is set to this linear line. All of the alphabet is across, the back button is way on the far right, and that's maybe reasonably okay for the touch remote when you're able to scroll, but I never find this thing very fast. I never find it very precise. Even when I try to swipe and stop on a certain letter of the alphabet, I'm still clicking left or right usually every time to try to hone in on the specific letter that I'm looking for. So instead, I think there's a much superior option and it's available right in settings. So if you go into settings and you go to general, Scroll down a little bit, and there's a keyboard layout option. Now there's three options here, auto, linear, and grid. And it says that auto is supposed to determine whether you're using a touch remote or a non-touch remote and adjust the keyboard presentation from linear to grid, kind of on the fly, but I find that doesn't work super great. I just prefer grid all the time, any type of remote, even including the touch when I have the ability to swipe. Now, of course, I go back and forth here between the Apple TV remote and my Control 4 system Halo remote, which doesn't have any type of touch. And if I swap back and forth between these two real time on the fly with this set to auto, it doesn't detect that I would want grid here and maybe linear here. But regardless of that anyway, I feel grid is the superior option. So let's take a look at what it does. Now, if I go back into a search menu on any of the Apple TV apps, really, Instead of that line of letters across the top, I have my key in area in a grid nicely packaged over here on the left. And I'm much closer to be able to get to any given letter. I can still swipe a little bit up and down left and right here. And I feel this is just so much superior. It's so much faster just to key in a couple of letters, search for a movie, search for a TV show, whatever search term, in fact, you may be looking for. So there you go. One of the first things I do anytime I set up a new Apple TV for myself is hit settings, general, and change that keyboard layout to grid. Of course, one of the other nice features of the Apple TV is the Siri capability, and you can actually use voice to search. W-I-C-K. So you can spell out your search terms and avoid the keyboard altogether if you use the Siri capability. Another extra cool tip here when it comes to Apple TV and the search menus. So sound off in the comments, do you, use the, do you use the linear keyboard? Do you prefer the grid as well? Let me know about your preferred Apple TV settings and look for more videos in this series where I'll break down some individual settings and again, best practices, recommendations, and kind of the, my favorite way to configure and operate the Apple TV 4K. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, all that stuff is down below. Please do all the regular YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, and come on back for more home theater discussion and fun.